Hey everyone, I got an exciting show for you today. Uh, I have an Instagram page that I've been following for some time now, FEP Flips out of Southern California, and they've been gracious enough to uh, agree to an interview. Uh, so how you doing, Polar and Melissa? Pretty yeah, good. Hey, how, how, you, how you doing? I'm doing very well. Why don't you just introduce the audience to who you are, what you do, how long you've been doing it, just kind of all the, all the basic stuff, if you don't mind, first, and then we'll get going from there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so I'm Polar. This is Melissa. Uh, husband and wife duo team here. We uh, flip houses and renovate here in Southern California. So primarily LA County, Orange County, uh, and surrounding areas, but most of our staff will be in LA and Orange County. And we've been doing this since 2014, I believe. Um, and yeah, I think we're on house, we're actually in one of our flips right now. I think this is house 20. Wow. And uh, we're still going strong. And yeah. Wow. So starting in 2014, uh, what did you two do before flipping? Well, we still do it actually. So I'm a pharmacist and she's a nurse. Oh, okay. So you still have your W-2 job and this, do you do the work yourself? You're in one of your flips. No. No. <laughs> yeah. We don't have time because we're always at yeah. our other jobs. So. Yeah. This I, flip is finished. just finished saving <laughs> it. Oh, very cool. Very cool. All right. Um, so what, what brought you to it? What, what in 2014 made you go, you know what, now's the time to strike. That was pretty good pricing right? Looking back 2014, maybe it's a year off the bottom, but still pretty cheap. Um, what made you look at mm -hmm. it? I think um, we just had our second child and oh my goodness. Okay. it was just kind of like we, we did it on a whim. <laughs> we, um, we were always interested in real estate okay. and he felt like he was working a lot. And so we did it because we wanted more time. Okay. So we kind of just jumped in. The first one was insane. But yeah, we did it. stressful yeah. the whole time. But we did it with family. You know, the kids came with us. Oh. Um, and it, it was fun. I mean, we spent a lot of time at Home Depot and Lowe's and figuring things out and driving everywhere and picking up tile and, you know, getting a little dusty and dirty. But the kids were with us. They had a blast. And uh, it was fun to have some family time. Very cool. So, let, so let's, I always like to talk about the first one. So how'd you find it? Was it on the online, a wholesaler, a drive by driving for dollars for sale by owner? What happened? Yeah. So the first one we had, uh, we had an agent who was helping us at the time okay. and um, he was reached out by a acquisition company. Mm -hmm. So he reached out to us and said, Hey, you know, we've been running numbers with this company and this one seems to work for you guys. Okay. Um, take a look. So we did, we ran our own numbers and we said, yeah, you know, we agree with you. The numbers look pretty good. So, there's never a perfect time. So let's, let's go for it. So it was scary. Yeah. Very. Um, throughout <laughs> the whole process. Had no idea what yeah. We yeah. It could have gone, you know, it could have gone totally in the opposite direction. You I know? think we just, it was like seriously dumb luck. Like <laughs> we got a contractor that was honest Yeah. and he felt sorry for us. So he gave us a really cheap price <laughs> oh, and funny. the house sold like before it even went on the market. Um, it was just really like, we just really lucked out on that yeah. one. Wow. And it kept us going. Very cool. So let's, yeah. uh, again, let's get more details on the first one. So what were you looking for? Did you have an area, a property type, a size? Did you have any idea on what the first yes answer would be? No, you were looking for a single family home, uh, County and Orange County. Um, but Orange County prices are pretty ridiculous. So we ended up finding one in Long Beach in LA County. Okay. And we just said if the price works, you know, we could buy it at a, at a price where we can still renovate it at a correct price with a, a good contractor and still make a profit of it, then uh, we're good to go. So it took a while to, to find that deal. But once we did, we, uh, we went for it. It took oh. us like a good six or seven yeah. months of looking before we found it. Cool. People need to hear that, right? It's just because you decide to do it doesn't mean it just falls in your lap. So you were, you were looking for six yeah. or seven yeah. months. That's cool. Do you mind oh, yeah. talking about what the price point was for the first one? How much it cost? Yeah, let's see. I can remember. So I think it cost um, it was about five hundred. Okay, yeah, round numbers like is fine. Okay, so yeah. it cost you five hundred uh, to get in. Did you get a loan? Uh, we did. So we did a hard money lender, which is oh. also very scary for us because yeah. we weren't familiar with that term for a while, and they were telling us, you know, our, our rates, and you know, we were newbies, you know, so yeah, like yeah, we were new, so the rates were even yeah. Worse. So we we're like, oh my goodness, you know, this is going to be ridiculous. So. Uh, we had some private investors who were interested, which we were lucky enough and fortunate enough to have that. Okay. Uh, so we went for it. And yeah, we found a contractor that gave us a good bid. I think we, we went through a few contractors or just calling them and they're like, no, are you guys investors? No, we're too expensive. They gave yeah. us bids that we felt were ridiculous. Right. Um, but we found one that worked out. Yeah, he did like 10 houses with us after that. Yeah. Okay. 
So 500 grand. Um, so it sounds, did he come in on budget and on time or did time slip by? She came. Time was maybe like a week ago. All right. A week and a half over. Yeah. It was right. not. Um, so not the month. Yeah, nothing major. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then you sell no, it. Yeah. We not. have been there though. Yeah. <laughs> we have been there. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah. But not on this one. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So then it sells before, um, before you put it on the market, it sounded like. Yeah. And it was, it was winter. It was December. Wow. It was right before, right before Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we were pretty, was, yeah, exactly. It, it just the way things lined up somehow for our first time flippers, it, it, it was awesome. <laughs> well, so, so let's just put it out there. 2014 in the Southern California area, um, was very good timing, right? The market took care of you, demand, price points, all of that. Yeah. Yeah, so let's just throw it out there. But again, you, you, you took the leap. That not everybody would, so congratulations. Thank you, yeah. yeah. And then, so you, you do that one, you obviously put some money in the bank. You're like, ooh, some is good, more is better. Uh, do you quickly get on to project number two? And then how soon before you're doing multiple projects at one time? We didn't start doing multiple until maybe house four or five around okay. there. Yeah, that's cool. yeah. I mean, it, it yeah. did get easier, you know, and it was kind of weird how things just started coming at you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, around there, that's when we started doing multiple. And by multiple, we mean maybe like two at a time, you know. Yeah. yeah. And then we slowly went to three at a time, and then after a while, we had like I think five in our name at at one point. Or okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, just so people realize that, so do, getting through the first four, that probably is a full calendar year, I'm guessing? Oh, at least, yeah. if yeah. not two years. Okay, yeah. so yeah. you get through the first four, one at a time, you could watch it all, you can visit it on the weekend, visit it with Yes. Her. After yeah. year two, it's like, okay, we've got it, we've got the infrastructure with private money or hard money, we found two great deals, it's now 2016, let's go, do you, do you, do you still just do LA County and Orange County? Has it always been that or did you get more focus? No, it's, it's always been LA and Orange County. We're pretty broad. I mean, in LA here, you have to drive every, anywhere. Yeah. You know, that's just how it's designed. So, um, you know, we, we said if, we're, if we can drive to a spot within maybe an hour and a half to two hours away, we do it, you know. Okay. Traffic here is horrible. Yeah. So in order to get to the deals, you know, you kind of have to. So even right now, driving to where we are right now, I think it's a little less than an hour Okay. Um, to get here on a day where there's not many cars on the road, you know? Wow. That's a good point. Yeah. It's probably not as much traffic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so I don't know LA back. So back to the first one, 500 grand was that, would that have been considered medium price below the medium? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I'd say that's about medium. Yeah. So do you Most focus them? Home buyers here uh -huh. will spend about 600,000. Yeah. Today or in 2016? Or um, I would say the same. Oh, yeah, really? it's about the same. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you know your exit is about six hundred grand. You probably have a pretty good feel now for whatever your remodel cost is. So it's really for you about finding the acquisitions then, right? It's kind of a simple formula yeah, like that. Exactly. Yep. If we can buy at the certain price, yeah, you're right. Wow. Okay. So tell me about your business today. So now you're 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 what why was that? Six years in? Six years? Yeah, six years in. Uh, husband and wife. Well, we, started team. End, uh, we, it, we started end of 2014. Okay, we acquired so, our first property in like October. That's right, so, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Almost, yeah. almost six years at the end of this year. Wow. Um, so what's the business like today? So you, how much inventory are you carrying today? You're in one of your flips. I think you just said you got staged. Yeah, we're in one of our flips right now. We have two um, that we're holding title to. Okay. We've kind of slowed it down, you know, mm -hmm. with the market shift from last year. We decided to kind of slow it back down. So oh, we're, wow. we're saying, hey, we'll just kind of hang on to maybe two at a time. So I think right now we have one in escrow that's supposed to close on Friday. So in a few days, we have this one that's about to be listed uh, this week. And then we're actually, since we're selling the other one, we're actually in escrow to buy another one in Long Beach as well. Okay. So kind of hanging on to the two. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, uh, He's dedicating a little bit more time to wholesaling too. That's why. Yeah. I'm also trying to push that a little bit more. Very cool. So it seems like you've built a great network of attracting deals. You say yes to the ones with fat margins, and then you could still, because your network's growing, you, you wholesale to other buyers that are looking to do the same thing. It sounds like where you're at. That's the idea. Yeah. yeah. So do you do actually direct mail? Are you door knocking? Are you paying finders? How, how are you, you know, securing? Uh, Driving for dollars and cold calling is more of, a, more of what I do. And again, you do, or you pay a, a virtual assistant or 
Who's doing I do. the calls? Yeah, maybe wow. one day I'll have a VA, but for now, yeah, it's me. I kind of stepped down from my main pharmacy job and okay. I swapped it. So I made real estate my main time gig and then pharmacy oh. is now my side time gig. That's so awesome. Okay. Yeah. That's very cool. So again, it, it's it, what you what you just told me earlier, just before that little bit is very rare. Most people who are having success in flipping go from one to two to three to four or five projects at once. Continue that trajectory uh, and they eventually go bankrupt. <laughs> Uh, frankly, right. Uh, they do. Uh, I saw it in 08 and I'm going to see it again in 2020. So what was it that yeah. caused you to step off the gas? Cause that's not easy for most people. It seems like you were like, you nailed it. Perfectly. Yeah, it wasn't easy. We had five houses at the same time. Um, at what that time? I think like in 18, 19, uh, what, when this was 18, 18, 18, to 19. 18 to 19. Okay. You know, the market has shifted. So days on market were just going way longer than we wanted to. We were using hard money. Oh. So we were just paying a lot of holding costs uh, month to month, you know, while nothing was really moving. Yeah. And we decided, hey, you know, we, we, we lost big this. on one house. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that kind of just kind of changed <laughs> the trajectory of the price point in which we wanted to spend and stay in. Yes. And because it was a it was a high end home. So it was I think the sale point was like one point two. Okay. And so we, we held on to that one for probably over, we had enough contingency to hold it for almost over a year okay. for probably like 13 months and not lose money. Yeah. Um, but we held it for even longer than that. And so we ended up losing probably like 60 grand on that house. Yeah. And so after that, we kind of really had to look at what kind of houses do we want to buy and how exactly. many do we want to hold at the same time? Yeah, so nice. it was kind of just a reality check in like yeah. being smart. Yeah. So I'm curious, was that the first house you went to that had a million dollar exit or had you done a couple of those and you no. were starting to look at, okay. It was the third house that we've done with the million dollar exit. Um, and to be honest, all of those kind of had their own different issues of why they sat in the market, you know, a little bit longer than they should have. Um, the first one actually got an offer within the, within 24, 40. Yeah. It was same day. Um, or within the day we got an offer, but then we got held up with some historical zone uh, stuff and it just, it, everything got delayed. So we're like, ah, you know, and then the second one, great area. Um, and we thought, well, you know, the first house, technically we, we got an offer. It's just, you know, had other issues. So um, we avoided the historical zone and that one eventually sold. But again, we were kind of concerned. That one sold really fast. Costa yeah. Mesa sold really fast, but we had delays with apartments. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then this was the third one. And, we and the third one was the disaster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the first two were okay. We were fine with. We just didn't make as much as projected. Sure. The third one, we lost a lot of money on and we were like, damn, we got to fix this. Nothing like losing money to create focus, right? Right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we are staying below the median, gosh darn it. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Uh, so I think that's a great strategy, right? You know what you do. You've got the teams. You've changed your focus from full-time or pharmacy first to this, to, you know, switching it. Uh, where, where do you think you're taking this? Because uh, I think 2020 is going to provide some unique opportunities, but you're going to have to be brave. So what do you think? You know, I don't know, I don't know. We were talking about possibly getting into some buy and holds depending on where the market goes. Um, because we do have, you know, this cash to buy. Sure. Um, so, so maybe we'll do that. I don't yeah. know. We haven't really talked about it. This whole, this, all these changes are coming right now and we're kind of like, not sure what's going to happen. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So I think, you know, again, right. I've been in the game 20 years, been, been, been act again. I'm on, so I live in the Silicon Valley. So it's kind of similar to orange County in that it's ridiculous price points, right? Million yeah. dollars is like entry point. But I invest in Fresno, right? Which is a 250K medium, mm, so, so yeah. very different. More like right. Inland Empire, right? Just the. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep. So um, you've got to stay below the median. As long as you stay below the median in the area, even if unemployment doubles or triples, uh, once we get past this health crisis, you, you'll have exits. Right now, it's just abnormal time where people are afraid to be around other people. Right. Um, so once that goes by, as long as you stay below the median, you can do some pretty consistent business. Buy and hold is where it's at. I mean, just, I mean, I don't know. I actually, what do you think that first house is worth today? Would it have appreciated at all or did it just stay at 600? I don't know if you can see us. Yeah, I can see you. I can hear you anyway. Sorry, what was the, uh, what was the question you asked? I was curious what that first house is worth today, the one you sold, I think you said Long Beach? Oh, yeah. I don't know. 
you think it's up? It's Basically, if you held it, would it be worth more today? Yeah, definitely. That would be my guess. Yeah. I, I don't know. I would, yeah. I would assume so. It's California, right? Isn't that, it always goes like that? <laughs> yeah. No, I know I held that because I know it sold. Um, yeah, I, I kind of Did tracked it. Did it sell again? It sold again. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think. So it, it got resold again. And um, yeah, the value went definitely up. Yeah. Because buy and hold is really where you create wealth long term, right? But you've got to be, you have to be able to hold it through downturns, right? right? And, and where you do that in property yeah. is yeah. with rentals. Um, specifically houses. So yeah. um, what, anything you're, anything you're looking sort of next level your business, is it getting VAs to do cold calling because you don't want to do it or where, where do you uh, Polar take this? Yeah. I mean, I, I, for, for my part, you know, since I am doing the cold calling right now and I am trying to kind of pursue this wholesaling area. Um, yeah. I'd like to have a VA or two and kind of allow me to have more time spent with family. You know, I, I took away my pharmacy time so I could have more time at home, but I realized now that I'm home, I really got to work it. It's but now, now we're homeschooling. So yeah. <laughs> so you also got that. So. Yeah. yeah. Weird, weird times. Two children. Yeah. <laughs> it, it really is. So. Crazy times. But yeah, that's where I kind of like to go. You know, we, we do design consults. We do staging. Um, yeah. You know, I, I'm still a realtor. There, there are other aspects of, of the business of real estate world that we also kind of take part of. Um, yeah. Renovation is kind of how we started. Yeah. So we'll kind of see how that goes you know we, you can i don't think we have a serious trajectory right now except yeah. for we know that we want to do some buying holds. okay yeah, yeah that's always been the end goal yeah and today in this kind of climate it's probably okay just to you know we're going to get through this before we make any life and death decisions makes makes total sense uh do you want to actually show off your creation do you want to yeah. turn around and show uh show the house and uh talk about it a little bit um, yeah, if you sure. guys want to yeah. look, yeah. Uh, here, let me see Tell us what you did. Flip this, or maybe I'll turn around. Here, I'll let you. So, walk um, wow, this is the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so, there was actually a wall dividing the um, kitchen. Here's the dining room. There was a wall dividing the kitchen and the dining room. So, we took that down um, and expanded the kitchen a little bit. Okay. Sorry, on call. Okay. That's all right. Um, and then it's kind of like here, I don't know if it's everywhere, but open concept pretty much is what people want. Yep. So we go from the kitchen, the living, um, dining, and then into the living room. Yep. Typically like to add a bathroom if we can to make a master ensuite. So that's mm -hmm. what we did here. So this is the master bedroom. Um, bathroom in here. Hmm. So this is an added bathroom. Wow. And then there's another bedroom on the other end and another bathroom. So there's another so bedroom on this end on of the, the master, hallway. Real and then quick. in the hallway, there's a desk bath. Yeah, real quick mm -hmm. on the master bathroom. Uh, where did you take the space from? Yeah. Um, was, was it, it a was closet or something? Closet and other bathroom. I believe. Yeah, so yeah. you can kind of see there's a closet here. Mm -hmm. um, that went to the wall. And then if you can see that next opening, it's actually yep. the other restroom. Got it. So what we had to do is basically kind of shift over this restroom wall. I think we made the, I think we made the bedroom smaller too. We did. It was a pretty yeah. decent sized bedroom for the mm -hmm. size of the house. So we actually did, um, yeah, we did make it a little bit smaller too to create a little bit more space. Yeah, well, that's going to help you with your exit. Also, just so you know, it'll, it will eventually help you with rent. Extra bedrooms get get more rent. I'm sure you know that, but that that's a good thing. Yeah. 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 So, is it just a two bedroom house? It's a two bedroom, yeah. two bath. Yep. Wow, two bedroom, two bath. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then, what you want to let's share the address. You never know who's watching that may be interested in buying it. What What's the address? Yeah. Uh, so this is five two nine West Eighteenth Street in San Pedro. Okay. And where's San Pedro okay. in relationship to LA? I, I have no idea. Yeah. So it's basically uh, kind of the south point of LA County. Okay. Um, yeah. Right next to uh, Long Beach. Most people are familiar with Long Beach. Oh, there you go. So that's right Long Beach. Right and, <laughs> there you go. So uh, right below that and basically. Yeah. So um, something I know I should ask is what is it like work, working in a husband and wife team? Because you obviously, you're like together all the time. You have shared responsibilities. <laughs> You still like each other? I mean, how do you balance that? Because I'm sure there are days where it's first? challenging. Yeah, so um, one, it helps that I have my own job too. Um, <laughs> so that gets me away. Yeah. And two is we early on um, 
kind of did the divide and conquer thing. Ah, okay. um, and we don't step on each, other to each other's toes. So each of us have very specific jobs within the business and we don't really um, inter interrupt each other and we don't really kind of get in the way of each other's decision making. Yeah, unless, unless asked. Unless that's awesome. And then, yeah. um, you know, how were the discussions when you were talking about that deal where you ended up losing 60 K? Cause sometimes it's all happy and dandy when things are going well, but you know, you had a loss. Uh, oh yeah. The distress. I was hit. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I, was Stress went up. yeah. <laughs> I was like, if we do not make money on the next house, we're done. So yeah. I definitely, but I'm like that. I'm like very, I can be very hot and cold sometimes with this business, I think, because there's just so many ups and downs and you really do want to quit all the time, <laughs> yes. but when the winds are good, the winds are good, right? So yeah, that's I, yeah, there's definitely added stress in any sort of financial um, turmoil. Yeah. Truth right there. Yeah. When the winds are good, the winds are good, but when they're bad, they're right. bad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that is so fun. Uh, so what would you, what would you tell a couple? you know, rewind the clock six years, you haven't done the first deal yet, you're interested, you're, you're in that six months of research. What kind of advice do you have? Because lots of couples are thinking about it. Um, what would help them make that first leap? Because that's not, that's the first one's always the hardest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think persistence and confidence in each other ah. is what I would say. Yeah. Yeah, I would say just taking action. Um, yeah, I mentioned it earlier. I said there's never really a perfect time. You know, when we took our first flip, it was a horrible time. For whatever reason at that time, we had no internet. We had no phone service where we lived. It was, um, for whatever reason, we had no service. So I had to call me. We're talking about the house. I had to a phone call back. Um, but the numbers worked, and I was like, well, if we don't do it now, I don't know when we'll say yes to another one or when we'll even have the opportunity to say yes to another one. And I think it's okay to not know what you're doing at times because there's always people that you can ask that do yeah. know what they're doing. I think that was something like we always had resources, I think, yeah. to guide us through whatever we were doing. You just need to ask and find out. Yeah. And then what, what does your network look like today? Because certainly your network after six years is much bigger, not only in private and and hard money and all of that. But I'm assuming you talk to, you maybe go to other real estate meetups, you talk to other investors, you have new friends today that maybe you didn't have five years ago, I'm guessing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's all about networking. It, it really it's a small world here. And it's important to surround your people that, surround yourself with people that are doing the same thing because there are a lot of people like our families initially who were like, you're crazy. So <laughs> yeah. as long as you have like positive feedback coming into you, then I think that's important to like keep going too. Yeah. yeah. Well, you guys, you guys have your heads on straight. You are clearly communicating well. Congratulations. How can people follow what you're doing? Uh, we can mention the Instagram page again. Are there other ways they can follow you? Do you have a blog or a Facebook page or where else? We have a blog that is not updated very often. <laughs> and now that I'm homeschooling, it's going to be updated way less. Yeah. So you can check it out. It's uh, www.fedflips.com uh, slash blog or the main site is fedflips.com. And then Instagram, like I said, fedflips. Uh, that's where we're at. Yeah. And and we Would provide like design services for flippers too. So I create portfolios for flippers if they don't want to design their own flips. Well, let's so talk we'll about that. that. Let's, I mean, that sounds like a great service for flippers. Do they have to be in the SoCal area or could you do that all over the country? No, it can really be anywhere. So talk about that, please. Let's get, let's see if we can get your phone to ring. So we charge, email. we, we charge by the hour usually, but it usually comes out to about the same because it takes me about the same amount of time to do it depending on where it's, if it's an area that I've ne I don't know well of, then it might take longer but yeah uh, flippers will come to us and basically ask us to design their flip so that they don't have to so i source everything um i choose every finish um sometimes if they're local i will go out to the house and help them floor plan it mm. um that's not always the case if they're not local though uh, sure. it's really hard to do that if it's from just a video mm -hmm. um but yeah we just kind of help them from start to finish usually so Melissa, how could uh, a future flipper or active flipper who has no design contact like me uh, reach out to you to say, hey, wh what would it cost? What would, you know, what's it look like? Is, is it Instagram message or how do they do that? Yeah, so either Instagram or then our, or our website also has um, a contact button that you okay. can. Okay, so yeah, F-E-P flips. Yep. 
All right. Yeah. Com. Yeah. Dot yeah, com the, the, at Gmail. I mean, that's the same yeah. handle there. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So folks, if you are interested in flipping, watching a husband, wife, uh, sort of attack this business in a measured and calm way, follow them on Instagram. If you are an active flipper, but feel your designs are weak or lacking, you've seen, we actually had them do a walkthrough of their current flip. So that was awesome to do that. Reach out fbpflips.com or IG. Uh, ask for Melissa or Polar. This is uh, this has been a lot of fun. Thank you two for doing this. Thank hey, you thanks so for much. having us. Yeah. All right. Have a wonderful day. Take care. All right. Take care. Yep.